would say it was excellent. Um, I think that she was very good when we had any questions. She was very um, responsive. If we had um, any text, she would answer right away. If we called her, she would call as soon as she could. And uh, she just guided us through this whole operation of selling our house. I like the idea that you had um, the different um, webs, the, was it called Brevity or something? Brevity, yep. That helped keep track, and I did also appreciate the um, updates, which is, I think, extremely um, important for a seller. When you have people come to your home, you want to get the feedback. And one thing I liked right away is that weekly you got feedback, but we got feedback even sooner because I could just go on that app that you had and I could find the feedback and know that, oh, somebody liked this house and, you know, what anything would be pluses or minuses. And good thing for us, it was all pluses, so. Connie was extremely helpful. Um, she made it known that if we had any questions along the whole process that um, to call her, and we did. And when there's any hiccups or anything like that, she reassured us and that made us feel better because not understanding the process to be ex having it explained to us helped us a lot in uh, feeling comfortable with what was going on. Something else I noticed is that uh, Kristen and Connie both seem to, uh, and perhaps it's the agency as well, seem to have a very good relationship with uh, the agents from prospective buyers, from the mortgage company that uh, was involved in the, in the closing, and it seemed like they were able to work with them and get the information they needed, and that's not always the case, that people want to share that information, and there's the trust between the buyer and seller agents that uh, seem to be there. We know somebody yes. else that's selling a house right now and uh, their agent doesn't get back to them and when they're able to get a hold of them doesn't seem to know anything more than they do and we never had an issue like that. Gotcha. And I do think, you know, as far as going about choosing a realtor, we did interview at least three and I think that um, part of the um, first process is what happened, introduced us in the first place is our brochure or like our, our leaflets that we would get mailed to us and we would see the amount of sales that you were doing, um, the um, average prices of your homes as far as what you would get for the um, price that it was off, it, I asked for um, was good and uh, it just it, was a good idea with the team because some of them were just working on their own and uh, it didn't seem like that was the way to go because it's such a process that I think people specializing in different areas makes it easier for not only the realtor but for the buyers too because right. you get the best job done. Yeah, I think Kristen uh, was honest with us from the get-go. One of the agents we interviewed, uh, her comment was that she walked in the house not more than 30 seconds, she said. Uh, well, I think, uh, do you mind 10% more than we ever dreamed that we would get? So she uh, highballed the uh, estimate. It says, hope you don't mind selling it in two days. And I had a kind of a feeling that uh, that was part of the sale process to get us to sign on with her and bear no resemblance to reality. With Kristen, uh, I think she was right on in terms of telling us if she uh, thought we were on or off and uh, we didn't have any of that nonsense. And to me, I'd rather have someone that I could trust for good counsel than someone that tries to make me feel good for That the is day. important, right. So that was, a, uh, that was a big factor in us choosing the agency. Right, and getting a fair price for the house, not an overinflated where it would stand on the market for so long. It was a reasonable price. Right. It would have been interesting with the first agent to uh, see how long it took to work our way down from the overinflated price to what we really listed the house for. <laughs> but fortunately we went somewhere else and didn't have to go through that. We listed April 1st. Yeah. And we had, um, I guess, oh, I, I 
can't really tell because we had a first buyer and then it worked out but that didn't work out and this buyer so I'm not sure it was maybe 20 20 days maybe it was just about it was just about a month but part of that was uh, losing traction with the first perspective right. buyer yeah. right. and that was another thing between the two to work everything out um, Kristen worked really hard as did the people here to try to um, figure out how to handle that so that everything was all right Kristen's kind of a bulldog. She is. She. Um, she doesn't appear like that at she first, doesn't, but, but she is. <laughs> when she when she's upstairs storming around, she's got forty five things in her hand at all times, running back and forth to the printer, and oh, I gotta do, and like everything's go 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 go, and she has four maybe kids yes. that are all yeah. in sports. Yes. And I'm like, I don't know how you do this. We were thinking, mm, is she gonna give it her all? But after talking to her and seeing her, we were so happy with our choice. Do you think that you would refer us, uh, the team and Kristen, to Definitely. other people? Oh, sure. I just am so happy, you know, that Kristen was our realtor, and I told her that today, too. And Connie, too, has been good, and we just really appreciate you. To contact the Perna team, call 248-886-4450 or email michaelperna at kw.com.